Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I have another story for you and uh, this story goes back to when I was in grade 11. Now in, in my school every every year uh, the class would go on like some kind of overnight retreat and this year we went to a ski re uh, lodge I guess a ski lodge and there were three activities uh, that you could do there basically you could go snowboarding but uh, while snowboarding would make me cooler in the eyes of my peers I didn't want to fall flat on my face and become embarrassed because I had too much experience with embarrassment already at that point and the second thing you could do was go skiing and I've been skiing before and it wasn't it wasn't a good time but that's a story for another time the third thing that you could do was go on the tube slide so my friend and I we were like tube sliding is the best option so we did that for the entire time we were there uh, just that and uh, the tube slide was really fun uh, how it worked is that was that you would take a tube and then you'd go line up um, by the zip line that would take you up to the hill and um, how it worked was you would place the tube on the ground sit on it and then uh, one of the staff members would come by and um, att hook or attach uh, the rope that was on your tube to the zip line and then it would zip line you up there while you're sitting on your tube and it was really cool I remember one time uh, my friend and I were waiting we were sitting on the ground on our tubes and we were waiting to be hooked up but there was we were we were waiting for someone to actually hook us up I guess there was no one there at the time I just remember hearing another staff member <laughs> yelling we need a hooker over here and obviously they meant someone to to hook the the rope up to the zip line um, but man it was funny we probably we probably joked about that the rest of the day throughout the day uh, more people from our class would would were coming to join us uh, on the tube slide and we started going down in chains and doing this got gave us a lot a uh, lot more speed and uh, a couple times we almost flew over the hay bales that were at the bottom of the hill that were actually there meant to prevent us from doing just that uh, and for whatever reason we were really pumped up by this we were so we were so proud of ourselves for just going that fast and that hard and I don't know if it was just our adrenaline that kicked in or if I was just happy to finally be having fun uh, we got back up to the top of the hill and the guy that was there he worked there and he he pushed everyone down um, he had the idea that we do a chain but this time go horizontally over the multiple lanes that were on top of the hill and so we did that and as we were going down I was the last tube um, on the row in the last lane so as we were going down uh, we started going kind of diagonally so I ended up going out of my lane and kind of just on the side of the hill and we're picking up speed we're going pretty fast here and then I just I remember getting really bumpy and snow flying everywhere uh, getting all up in my face and other places and I suddenly got an overwhelming sensation of fear like my my goodness what is gonna happen to me and I just I don't know if I decided to let go or if I just did but either way I let go of the rope attached to the tube in front of me and I started going out of control I started doing barrel rolls like I was playing Star Fox or something like that and I, I hit the ground and I continue rolling and snow's getting up in my snowsuit as if it owned it and uh, you know all I can remember is in all this chaos suddenly it stopped I just stood up and I walked to the bottom of the hill and picked up my tube and in that moment excuse my language but I felt like a badass as as if I was walking away from an explosion you know 
uh, I just walked to the bottom of the hill and grabbed my tube, went back in line, and, and the people in my class were all like, oh man, that was awesome, man, you, man, you almost died, and stuff, man, and they were just, I don't know what got into them, but they, they thought that was the most amazing thing ever, and I'm here thinking like, man, I could have been seriously injured, and that maybe would have added to this story. Maybe I should have added that to this story. But anyways, I could have been seriously injured, and they're all praising me and patting my back, and they're like, yeah, that was awesome. But, I mean, I don't know. So I just went with it. I milked it for all that it was worth. I just remembered not wanting to be embarrassed after I stopped rolling. I, I was just like, I'm not, I'm not going to let this, you know, affect my swag. So I just stood up, walked to the bottom of the hill as if, as if nothing happened, and now I've got a pretty cool story about it. If I had stayed on the ground, I maybe, maybe we wouldn't have this story. I don't know. But anyways, that's all I got, guys. Uh, I hope you liked it. Make sure you like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, just remember that when life hits you, you can hit it back. Alright guys, have a good one.